leads us to another major announcement from the diocese, the renaming of Bishop Sullivan High School. Now, to be clear, the bishop's name does not appear on any list of clergy associated with abuse. But the reason for the name change is related to that issue. Then your side's Brett Hall has the explanation and reaction to that decision. The buses, the entrances, the signs, all now officially outdated. You have reached Catholic High School. The words Bishop Sullivan that also accompanied the name for the last 16 years, today, order to the history books. The name effective immediately reverted back to its former name as Catholic High School. Superintendent of Schools Kelly Lazara says that was the name before the late Bishop Walter Sullivan's name was added. Done to honor him as he prepared to retire after leading the Richmond Diocese for nearly 30 years, but today, current Bishop Barry Nestout decided it was time to take that honor away, all with the church's sexual abuse scandal in mind. In a statement, he says, Overcoming the tragedy of abuse is not just about holding accountable those who have committed abuses. It is also about seriously examining the role and complex legacies of individuals who should have done more to address the crisis in real time. While the diocese did not specifically say the former bishop did anything wrong, a Virginia Beach man who says he speaks for survivors of abuse does. Our credibility was covered up by Bishop Walter Sullivan, who hid facts from the diocesan review panel, Lee says in a statement. He goes on to say, I am grateful to Bishop Nestout for taking action by removing Bishop Sullivan's name from the high school. This will go a long way in the healing process. We have gotten nothing but very supportive and positive comments. Lazara says things will not change overnight and students can still wear their old uniforms for the next year. We're not rewriting history. We're just making a policy change. She says alumni should still be proud of where they studied as the mission will always stay the same. It, it's a family and, and that's not going to change. Brett Hall, 10 on your side. Now, moving forward, no buildings in the diocese will bear the name of former pastors or bishops.